trust you. I'm an angel of the Lord. Why am I here? Because God commanded. That was probably the shittest cast voice ever done. Ever. Hey what's up you guys, it's Laura here and today I'm going to be doing the Supernatural tag. It's not the same tag as the one that went around like, I think it went around a few years ago. There was a Supernatural tag going around a few years ago. It's not the same one, it's kind of an updated one. Um, the questions that I'm using were from a Tumblr post. I'm also in my Castiel cosplay um, because I did the Doctor Who tag a while ago and I was Donna Noble for that and I thought well I need a cosplay for this naturally um, and I was gonna be Sam Winchester and I was like well I'm gonna decide on the day and today I'm feeling Castiel not literally but I have the questions on my iPad without further ado here is the supernatural tag question number one is when did you start watching supernatural I started watching Supernatural quite recently, actually. Um, it wasn't that long ago. I mean, I started watching it last year, I think. I saw the pilot sometime last year and I was like, oh my god, what the hell? I need this in my life. For Christmas, I got the box set of seasons one to eight, which is awesome. And then for my 19th birthday, uh, my mum got me season nine on DVD, which in the UK, we've only just had season nine, so. I only really started watching it like full on like I think January this year like really getting into it question number two why did you start watching Supernatural I started watching Supernatural due to this girl she's appeared in one of my videos Julia she's my best friend I love her to pieces but she got me hooked on this more than Sam was hooked on demon blood I swear to god it's Julia's fault. Question number three is what is your opinion on John Winchester? John of course is Sam and Dean's dad. Well in my opinion on John Winchester it's quite complex. I think that he at times appeared quite a bit of a dick. Like a lot of people are like oh he's such a dick and oh my gosh he's a right dick and stuff. I have mixed feelings about John Winchester. I mean he did love his kids. He did love his wife but I think the obsession of what killed Mary kind of drove him into this hunting thing and drove him crazy about it and that kind of affected Sam and Dean. I did think he was a bit of a dick in season one but when he came back as his younger self, when you see his younger self, I was like oh my god I felt so bad for John. I was like oh bless him. You know when you find out the truth about John and Mary in season five it's just like oh my god my heart broke for both of them <laughs> question number four is what is your favorite season every season I think has good elements and bad elements I'm currently on season eight um, I just started season eight quite recently and it's pretty good I'm enjoying it so far I like season three or season five season five was just amazing but yeah season five or season three one of my main favourites. Question five is, what is your favourite episode? Right, it depends on the season. Season one, probably Bloody Mary. I really like Bloody Mary. Um, I think it's quite underrated. Or Home, I love Home as well. Uh, season two, probably Playthings. I just really liked Playthings, I thought it was cute. Season three, Bedtime Stories. Bedtime Stories is my all time favourite episode, or one of them. Um, but I also like Ju and Bello. I think that was a really good one. Season four, probably, Lazarus Rising, because, you know, uh, grand entrance of this guy. It's a Terrible Life is also a good one. But the only thing I didn't like about that episode was Zachariah. And It's the Great Pumpkin, Sam Winchester. Season 4 has a lot of good episodes. Season 5, Changing Channels, or The Hammer of the Gods. Uh, season 6, probably Clap Your Hands If You Believe. Fight the fairy, you fight those fairies! Worst theme voice ever. But yeah, it, I just I just cried laughing at that one. And The Man Who Would Be King. I really like that episode too. Season 7. Oh, there's a load in Season 7 that I really like. Um, currently from Season 8. Out of the ones I've seen, we need to talk about Kevin. Um, which is the season opener. Question number 6 is, who is your Supernatural OTP? Oh, Jesus. My Supernatural OTP is probably... I like Dean and Joe together. I think they were cute. I mean, I love 
Destiel, I do kind of ship it and kind of don't. You know, I do have mixed feelings about Destiel. Um, or Destiel, how, however the hell you say it. A lot of people talk about Sabriel, and that's, that's such a cute ship. I, I'm just trash for Sabriel. But I also liked Sam and there was a girl in season one. I think her name was Sarah in Provenance. Um, the girl that he ended up kissing at the end of the episode, which made me cry because it was so cute. Question number seven is which episode title is the funniest? And there are a lot of funny um, episode titles. In my opinion, Jensen Ackles, who plays Dean, was in the remake of My Bloody Valentine. And I just think that's kind of why they named it that. It's like, it's the great pumpkin Sam Winchester. Like, where does that even come into it? It's a terrible life. That's kind of, I think it's a take on It's a Wonderful Life. I know in season nine, the episode starter is I think I'm gonna like it here, which is a reference to Annie. It reminds me of Annie, you know the song, I think I'm gonna like it here. I've read somewhere there's an episode in season 10 called There's No Place Like Home, and that's just adorable. That just makes me laugh as well, because it's, it's just so cute. Question number eight is what is your favorite Dick Roman joke? Oh God. I think my favourite one is when he's on the telly and the caption is The Rise of Dick. I just sat there and cried. Standing too close to exploding dick sends your ass straight to purgatory. That means that was quite funny. So we got dick on dick or So are you gonna look at any more anime or are you strictly into dick now? I think that one is my favourite, the one with the anime. Are you gonna watch some more anime or are you strictly into dick now? <laughs> Question number nine is, who is your favourite angel? My favourite angel, even though I'm dressed as Castiel, I do love Castiel, I think he's an awesome angel, but honestly, my favourite angel, without a doubt, is Gabriel. Gabriel is so cute, I just, oh, I love Gabriel, I think he's funny, he's adorable, um, he's just a dork, and that's why we love him. I also loved Balthazar, I thought Balthazar was really funny. Yeah, I think they're my main three, my main three are... Castiel, Balthazar, and Gabriel, but Gabriel was probably my favourite, so, yeah. Question number 10 is, who is your favourite demon? Ooh. Crowley's technically a demon, isn't he? If he is, I would say Crowley, because he's a sassy-ass mofo. You know, he, he's just, he's funny, bless him. Um, but my other favourite demon is Ruby, and that's both Rubies, Katie Cassidy and Genevieve Padalecki, both of them. Question number 11 is, have you ever written supernatural fanfiction? Yes, far too much. My name is Laura and I write far too much fanfiction. I write mainly supernatural fanfiction now. Um, I also still write Doctor Who fanfiction, but it's mainly supernatural, which is insane. Me and my best friend, Julia, we wrote one together and it was all set in a school and we kind of paired ourselves with, I think I was paired with Sam and she paired herself with Gabriel, which was so cute. And there was Dean and Joe and Cass and Crowley and uh, Ruby and Bella and we were all in like a classroom and it was hilarious. Question number 12 is a three-parter and it's, what are your opinions on the following ships? Destiel, Sabriel and Wincest. Let's start with Destiel. I think Destiel is freaking adorable. I think I don't think it'll be canon, but it is cute. Sabriel, I've talked about. I think it's cute. I think it's adorable. Again, might not be canon, but it's freaking cute, okay? And finally, Wincest. Uh-uh. I don't really ship Wincest at all. The only incest I ship is the Lannisters. Let's be honest. Question 13. Which do you prefer? First generation Ruby, that's Katie Cassidy, or second generation Ruby, that's Genevieve Padalecki. Ugh, I love both of them. I, can I just say both? Because they're both awesome actresses. I love them both. But if I'm completely honest, I will have to say second, which is Genevieve Padalecki. Her Ruby kind of convinced me in the beginning that what she was doing with Sam and all the powers and that was right. And oh hell, it was so wrong on so many levels. You know, the season finale came around and she was like, I tricked you okay and sam's just like you bitch i'm just sat there like him i'm just like you bitch not only did she trick sam she tricked me bitch <laughs> but i loved ruby i love both rubies just putting it out there question 14 if you could bring any characters back who would they be gabriel gabriel absolutely i bring gabriel back gabriel uh, but i also kind of want to bring joe 
back as well because I love Jo and I think she's awesome. Question 15 is which episode makes you laugh the most? I said this but clap your hands if you believe from season six. It just, I don't know why. I think it's because it's soulless Sam, you know, he just doesn't care and it's just brilliant. He's just like, I just, it just makes me laugh because it's fairies. I mean, come on guys, it's fairies. Well, Tall Tales from season two also makes me laugh and Changing Channels also makes me laugh quite a bit. Um, question number 16 is which episode makes you cry the most? For me, this is easy. Death's Door. I didn't have silent tears rolling down my face. I was like, <laughs> verbalising my cries and oh, I just, it hit me right in the feels. Also, Hammer of the Gods made me cry a little bit. Even though it's one of my favourites, it did make me cry at the end. What happens to Gabriel? What happens between Gabriel and Lucifer? Got me right there. Uh, question number 17 is which episode is the scariest to you? I think one episode that scares me is probably, I mean Bloody Mary scared me because it was really creepy. Um, Everybody Loves a Clown, that kind of scared me because I don't like clowns too much. I'm not a big fan of them. Alright, question 18. Who do you prefer, Sam or Dean? Why would you ask that kind of question? Like, I love both Sam and Dean. I love them both. I think they're awesome. You know, Dean always makes me laugh, like with his one-liners and his so done with the bullshit attitude. And Sam, he makes me laugh too because he's so sassy. If I had to pick one, I would go with Sam. I think it's because I, he was the first character that I ever connected to and was able to relate to because he was like the younger sibling and I'm the younger sibling in my family so I could kind of relate to him, understand how he was feeling and yeah, I'm going with Sam. Even though I love Dean too, let's go with Sam. Question number 19 is what is your favourite pop culture reference on the show? There have been far too many pop culture references. It's unreal. I think my favourite was probably when uh, it's in Frontierland, which is in season six. Dean says, oh, we'll Star Trek for this bitch. Sam and Bobby just look at him like, what? You know, then Bobby just goes, I only saw Deep Space Nine. That's the one I remember the most because it's the funniest one to me. Anyway. Question number 20 is, who is your favourite supporting character? Currently, it's Kevin or Charlie. I love both of them. I also love Garth as well. So Kevin, Charlie and Garth, they're my main three. I mean, Kevin's just an adorable little thing. I just want to hug him so tight. Bless his little heart. Garth just makes me laugh because he's all like, you know, you've been Garthed. And it's just like, oh my god. Um, and it's, oh, when he's with Mr. Fizzles and he's like, oh, because Mr. Fizzles can tell when you're being a liar. And Charlie, well, she's nerdy and she's funny and she's cute. She's like me. I can relate to that. Question 21. Do you prefer cake or pie? In German they're technically the same thing because Küche, which is the word for pie, also translates as cake. I know I'm being a little bit nerdy there but it's true. Personally I prefer cake. I love pie but I do love cake just that little bit more. Cake tastes better than everything and I mean everything. Question number 22 is quite a fun one. It says have you ever made a supernatural reference out loud and received strange looks from some of the people surrounding you? Yes, I do it all the time. My mum was asking me what I wanted for tea and she's like, Laura, don't make things hard, you know? I was like, no matter what you do, no matter what choices you alter, you will always end up here. And she's like, Laura, stop quoting supernatural. And I was like, mother, I can't. <laughs> Two in one but I have been known to quote Supernatural far too much. It's hilarious. Question 23, do you have any favorite gag reel moments? Oh my God, there's far too many. In season one, there's the scene where it's Sarah and Sam and they're just sat there talking and they're like on a date, but there's this thing where Jared's laughing and it's like hilarious and I'm just sat there like, oh my God, your laugh is so cute. Can you not? <laughs> But just whenever they're laughing, it's hilarious. The gag reels are just funny and they always make me happy. And it makes me realize that even though the show is a little bit scary, you know, these guys aren't scary. They're just like little cuddly teddy bears. I mean, what the hell? Question number 24. Have you ever had a supernatural related dream? Yeah, I can remember my first. I was lying on a pavement and it was raining and I was injured. 
And then Dean comes over to me and he's like, oh my god, don't die, don't die, it's okay, we've got you. And then Sam appears and then I woke up. Like, Dean was there and then Sam just appeared and nothing happened with Sam. I was like, the fuck? Okay, and question 25 is, what is your opinion on Super Who Lock? Yes, all for it. I'm a Super Who Lockian. Definitely. I love Supernatural. I love Doctor Who. I love Sherlock. I had this thing on Tumblr and it said the last two shows you watched are now in the same universe. What the hell would happen? And it was Doctor Who and Supernatural. And I was just thinking, oh my god, imagine Sam and Dean against a Dalek. I would just die laughing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, imagine, like, Cass and the Doctor. That'd be hilarious. Oh my god, Sam and Dean against the Weeping Angels. That is it. That is all the questions for this Supernatural tag. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to have a go at this tag, go for it. I will see you guys very soon. Bye. I just realised I can do something with this outfit. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a little hell to raise. <laughs>